Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are taking this up from the topic of complex numbers. And if I talk about the question which is given to us here from this topic, the question tells us S is a set which consists of Z, which is basically a complex number X plus IY. And the condition given to us is 2Z minus 3I divided by 4Z plus 2i is a real number. Then the question further tells us which of the following is not correct. So we need to figure out which is not correct out of the answer choices given. And if I talk about the answer choices, the options given to us are y plus x square plus y square not equal to minus 1 over 4. The second answer choice x comma y is equal to 0 comma minus half. The third answer choice x equals 0. And the last answer choice we have been given here is y belongs to minus infinity to minus half union minus half to infinity. So basically that means he's telling you y is having every value except minus half. So basically y is not equal to minus half. This is the idea given for this. Now let's try to solve this question and find out which one of the answer choice will be the correct answer choice. But the question is asking you which of the following information is not correct. So we need to figure out the answer choice which will satisfy this idea given to us that the information is not correct. So let's see how to solve this question. Before starting off with the solution, I would first like to tell you please do subscribe to my channel and support the channel as well because it takes lots of efforts in making this videos for you on everyday basis. Let's see the solution now. So if I talk about this, I have been given complex number is z is equals to x plus i y and the expression given to us is 2z minus 3i divided by 4z plus 2i. So if I solve for this complex number first, two times z, we know it is x plus i y minus 3i divided by 4 times x plus i y plus 2i. So from here, if I see what do I get as 2x plus 2i y minus 3i divided by 4x plus 4i y plus 8, sorry, 2i. So I have this. Now if I convert this into a complex form, I get 2x plus i, 2y minus 3 divided by 4x plus i, 4y plus 2. Now once I have this with me, I first just need to conjugate, multiply with the conjugate of that. So I'll multiply with 4x minus i, 4y plus 2, 4x minus i, 4y plus 2. So I get this. Once I multiply with the conjugate, let's see what I get. So I have this two entire things getting multiplied. So if I have that with me, I get 2x multiplied with 4x minus i 4y plus 2 plus i 2y minus 3 multiplied again with 4x minus i 4y plus 2. So we have this entire thing. And that whole thing, if I see it's divided by a plus b into a minus b. So that gives you a square minus b square. So a square minus b square. So i is also there. So basically I should square i. So from here, let's see what I get further. I get from here 2x into 4x, which is 8x square minus i 2x times 4y plus 2 plus i 2y minus 3 multiplied with 4x minus i into i which is i square so minus i square and 4y plus 2 the whole thing it's divided with 4x the whole square plus 
because i square is minus 1, so minus into minus becomes plus, and 4y plus 2 the whole square. So from here, let's see what I get. So 8x square, i square we know it is minus 1. So minus of minus becomes plus, and 4y plus 2, which is there, that 4y plus 2 also gets multiplied with 2y minus 3. So we should have that 2y minus 3 also multiplied. So we get this entire thing. So plus 4y plus 2, 2y minus 3, this entire thing divided by 4x the whole square plus 4y plus 2 the whole square. Plus i, for i I have this and this term. So for i, if I see, I get here 2y minus 3 multiplied with 4x and minus 2x multiplied with 4y. The whole thing divided by 4x the whole square plus 4y plus 2 the whole square. So I have this entire thing and now if I write it in the form which is given to me a plus ib. So I get this is your real part which is without a and this is your imaginary part which is with a. So I have my imaginary part and the real part with me. Now the question tells us that this expression which was there, that is basically a real number. When this is basically a real number, what I can do here is further, I can just write that this, if it's an entirely a real number, it can only be a real number when your imaginary part becomes zero because zero and y will give you zero and then you're left with a, which is real number. So I understand that I have to equate the imaginary part with 0. So let's equate that. So 2y minus 3 multiplied with 4x minus 2x multiplied with 4y plus 2 divided by 4x the whole square plus 4y plus 2 the whole square. This whole thing is equated with 0. And when this whole thing is equated with 0, I will take this entirely on the other side. So when I take that entirely on the other side, I get my numerator 4x into 2y minus 3 minus 2x 4y plus 2, whole thing is equal to 0. And if I solve for this, let's see what I get. So I get 4x 2y minus 3 minus 2x or is equal to 2x 4y plus 2. So if I solve for this, I get 8xy minus 12x is equals to 8xy plus 4x. So here I see 8xy and 8xy gets cancelled. You are left with minus 12x plus 4x, which basically gives you minus 16x equals 0. So x in this case becomes 0. So I get x equals to 0. Now when I have x equals to 0, here it is present and here it's present. But the question is asking which of the following information is not correct. So this is a correct information. So this cannot be the answer choice. Now let's see if y is equals to minus half or not. So if I have that y equals to minus half or not. So what I know is imaginary part is zero. And when imaginary part is zero, it is only possible when your numerator is zero and your denominator is any value except zero. So your new denominator cannot be zero because zero over zero will become an indeterminate form. So I understand this cannot be equal to 0. So let's use that idea also. So 4x the whole square plus 4y plus 2 the whole square cannot be equal to 0. So from here I know x is 0 already. So if I put it, I get 0 plus 4y plus 2 the whole square cannot be equal to 0. And when this cannot be equal to 0 means 4y plus 2 cannot be equal to 0. That gives you 4y cannot be equal to minus 2 and in that case, y cannot be equal to minus 2 over 4, which in this case is 2 once to 2 times, so minus half. So y cannot be equal to minus half. That's the idea I'm getting here. And when y cannot be equal to minus half, this information is also correct information. So this also cannot be the answer choice. And here if I see for the option b, y is given to us as equal to minus half. And this is not correct because we know that y is not equal to minus half. So this information is not correct. And when this information is not correct, I get my correct answer for the question that's option B. So B becomes a correct answer for the question that is given to us here.
I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions on complex numbers. I'll see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic. And we are going to continue our series of questions on JWE means. So stay tuned for more videos to roll out. Also, if you are enjoying this videos that we are doing on everyday basis, please do like the videos as well and share this videos with your friends also who are involved in the preparation of questions on JWE. So they can also take the benefit from these questions which we are solving on everyday basis. Thank you.